What's up guys, we are back. So I just ordered these lug nuts last night. They're here already. It's amazing how fast Amazon works. Um, they're a different thread pitch than the Toyota ones, so my stock ones wouldn't work. Uh, bam, now I can bolt up the wheel. Everything here looks dirty. It's gonna get all taken apart. I'm gonna sandblast it all, paint it all. Should look better. But it's all mocked up and everything bolted up. I didn't have to bang anything out. I have to cut anything. The only thing I really needed to do was grind the control arm bushings there so they fit into the suffering. That's it. Besides that, bolt went right through. The stock uh, links right here went right into place. These links went into place. The, the bar actually bolted up to one of the bolts here. Now all I gotta do is drill a hole there and use that same stock bar. Um, I got the Nissan 240 spindles with the better bearings. Um, coilovers. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna get some steel braided brake lines, but the brake line mounted or screwed on right up, no problem. So we got, like I said, better wheel bearings now. I'm just missing the washer. Uh, but we got a better wheel bearing style, bigger pressed, uh, bigger brakes as well. And this should definitely feel a lot better than my stock <laughs> setup here, a little dinosaur. Uh, yeah, major upgrade. I will need to trim my fender more the stance of it it does come out the wheel does come out more the control arms are longer so you definitely get more this way um, probably gonna have to buy bigger flares can't wait to put her on the road it should be a major upgrade like I said everything does mount up little tweaks here and there and parts that are missing we should be back in action in no time but yes 240SX Nissan front complete suspension on a 1977 Celica. Definitely should be good. Yeah, yeah. Could be done. Could be done.